not to draw attention here. The bandits will be here again soon, brothers. We'll make our final stand. Give them a few scars before they slit our throats. We're with you. Why are you hiding amongst these ruins? A Medjai. The gods show mercy at last. My name is Rai. And this is what's left of my family. Bandits chased us from our farms. We have nowhere else to go. We have nothing of value. Yet they've pursued us for days across this wasteland. I've seen many bandits. They are cynical and callous. They killed so many. My father, my son. Those here are all who remain of our village. The bandits will come again to finish us. Stand with us, Mechai. Help us get vengeance at least. Vengeance is my creed. I will help you. Tell me your plan. There is a cliff not far from here. From there we'll be able to see the whole area and plan our defense. Let's go. This wasteland is perilous. If it's not bandits, it's hyenas or some other beast. Thank Ra, my father taught me how to use a bow. That is a nice weapon. It has an unusual make. When my father gave it to me, it was taller than me by three hands. Boys teased me without mercy. Now it's a sadness to me. It only reminds me of him.
see them near the entrance. There are markings on the wall. I saw. There is a symbol of Horus, but it is changed slightly. They look ancient. What is this place? You are fast along the rocks, Rai. I know these caverns. They are a natural temple. What is that necklace you wear? An old eagle skull. I hope it brings us luck. I could stay here for hours. That is Horus, the Falcon, the Great Black One, God of the Sky. The Sun is his right eye, and the Moon is his left eye. Forever he flies across the heavens, making night and day. The Eye of Horus is what the Magi wear? Yes, Remu. And the Pharaoh is Horus, right? Yes, my son. The Pharaoh is Horus in life and Osiris in death. That is why the Pharaoh rules not only Egypt, but the whole world. Only a true Pharaoh, though. Okay, enough of the view. We have to plan. Wherever the bandits come from, my brothers will be ready for them in the ruins. I'll stay up here and keep watch. When they show, I'll give a signal. Then I'll attack from behind. I mean no disrespect, Rai. But you are not soldiers. These bandits are killers. Your farmer friends may not walk away from this fight. I know, Bayek. I'm scared out of my mind. If your family died in your arms, you would understand. I cannot walk away now. Believe me, I do understand. And I will fight with you. For now, I will head back to the others. You should hurry. It's a long way back down the mountain. What 
Sandstorm coming. With you, we have a chance. These bandits are demons. But whether we live or die, I am thankful for your help. Right. Go on. Medjai, you've returned! Yes. Your sister is staying on the cliff. She will signal when the bandits approach. These ruins are narrow. It could be worthwhile setting traps. Fire and oil, perhaps. Uh, do you have supplies? Fire? A, a fine idea. Yes, we do. They're nearby. Good. Head up to that roof and keep watch. I will join you soon. I could use the oil jars to set traps for the bandits. Either way, I should speak to Rai's brother again when I am ready. <clears throat> I am ready. Then we wait and pray. There they are! The bandits are here! Let me see you, little knight. Think you can hide from us? Where is the woman? And over the bow, maybe... There are more of them out there, and they will return. They were after Father's bow. What? All this just for an old bow? Gods, why? It doesn't make sense. I would have given it to them. Maybe we still can. They would have killed you anyway. There is only one way to stop men like this. I have to hunt down their leader. I saw them come in from the southeast. They could be camping in the foothills nearby. And that is where I will begin my search. Bayek, before you go, please, take the bow. We'll be safer if you have it. It was damaged in the fighting, and it only brings me sadness now anyway. I'm sure it still has some power. You honor me, Rai. The bow is Egyptian, but older than anything I have seen. It is deceptively light, and the balance is perfect. The limbs are made partly of a strange black stone. It is familiar. I will look into it after I've dealt with this murderous leader.
have I walked into? A letter from the bandit leader. He's collecting ancient weapons. He wanted this bow so badly he killed for it. But why? He is not here. They have a new hideout in a nearby tomb. They think themselves unfindable. Well... about the stonework. The markings are similar to those on Ryde's bow. Thank <laughs> you. 
rock. I knew there was ancient treasure in these mountains. I have never seen nothing like it. This is the domain of the gods themselves. We could sell it all back in Crocodilopolis. And never return to this wasteland. With a whole tomb full of black stones. This area is off limits. Hell now! Die, my god! Hey, what? Did. He will not be troubling the farmers anymore. He was carrying shards of black stone, probably found in the tomb beyond. It is the same material used on Rise Bow. It fits. Should do the trick. Now it is a fine weapon. Ancient writing.
the messenger speaks. On the 21st day of December 2012, Desmond activated the global Aurora Borealis device and protected the Earth from the sun's deadly coronal mass ejection. On the 21st day of December 2012, humanity carried on without a care in the world. People went to work, people went to school, and people went to the well for water. On the night of December 21st, 2012, as the sun set on their days, Humankind went to bed. Then on the morning of December 22nd, 2012, humankind was graced with yet another morning. They never knew that on the previous day, the world almost ended. We thought that would have been... enough. And it was, until it wasn't. Time is unyielding. It always corrects itself. The language of time works in many ways, two of which you can understand, as you are now. Linear continuity is a simulation that allows for variations. Within the linear continuity, there are nodes choke points, moments where algorithms converge the flows of superposed possibilities to a single moment where only one absolute truth is possible. Paths are fluid, continuous. Nodes are static, changeless. and the wave function collapses the paths into nodes which branch out, again and again, and again. And so I wonder, can you feel the wave collapsing, trying to course correct Desmond's act of defiance? The incoming node needs the world to end. The algorithms have been carving the flow of possibilities towards that end for over 100 years now. A labyrinth of trenches filled with mud and mustard gas. Families cowering in fear as V2s vaporize their dwellings. Fire born from the bellows of the Los Alamos laboratory, fueling global catastrophes. The Serpikov 15 incident of 1983. The Doomsday Clock, tucked away in an office at the University of Chicago, its needle moving as the years go. The node is near. Perhaps you knew. Perhaps you felt it too. That the world is closing in on you.